This is section 14.1, part 3. Just almost finished. The map coloring problem. Maps need to be colored so the territories with common boundaries have different colors. A map can be represented by a graph whose vertices represent the countries and whose edges represent the countries they touch. The question is, what is the minimum number of colored colors required to color a map? The four color theorem states that every map can be colored with four or fewer colors. The proof of the four color theorem was completed by Appel and Haken at the University of Illinois in 1976, followed by more than 100 years of effort by many mathematicians around the world. The proof was controversial because it required billions of computations that took 50, 24 hour days of computing time. A map of southern Africa is shown. Draw the graph representing the map in the space below. Using the coloring algorithm to color it, color each country in the map the same color as the vertex representing it. So here we go. Here's our graph. The Democratic Republic of the Congo, Tanzania, Angola, Zambia, Malawi, Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, South Africa, Lesotho, and Swaziland. Okay. <coughs> Putting points for our vertices. The Democratic Republic of the Congo touches Angola, Zambia, and Tanzania, because I'm not sure what this section is. Tanzania touches the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Zambia, Malawi, did I forget to put Mozambique? Take your time with this. Angola touches Democratic Republic of the Congo, Zambia, and Namibia. Zambia touches Angola, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Tanzania, Malawi, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, and Namibia. Mozambique touches Tanzania, Malawi, Zambia, Zimbabwe, South Africa, and Swaziland. Namibia touches Angola, Botswana, Zambia, and Zimbabwe right there at that little corner. We already touched it to Botswana and to South Africa. Botswana touches Nambia, Zimbabwe, Zambia, oh gosh, and South Africa. Lesotho touches South Africa. Swaziland touches Mozambique and South Africa. I think we have them all. I'm going to start with Zimba Zambia right here and figure out which ones it doesn't touch. So which ones can it be the same color as? It does not touch Lesotho, and it does not touch Swaziland. It also does not touch South Africa, 
but to have Lesotho and Swaziland be a different color than South Africa, they cannot be the same color. Okay. Next one with a lot of edges coming out from it, I'm going to say Zimbabwe and I'll make it a square so we can differentiate here. Which ones doesn't Zimbabwe go to? The Democratic Republic of the Congo and Malawi. I'll next start up here with Tanzania and I'll make it a triangle around Tanzania. What doesn't it reach towards? Namibia, also a triangle, and South Africa, also a triangle. And our last three, we've got Angola, Botswana, and Mozambique. I'm going to put check marks next to them. They can all be a different color. We have four different colors to color our map, and none of the colors, none of the countries will be touching another country that is the same color. That is the, calling it the map coloring problem. That's section 14.1, basic concepts of graph theory.